All right, y'all, what's up? About to show y'all how to do Timbo Tap. My name is Chris. Uh, Timbo Tap is pretty much simple. Uh, I've been trying to get this project laid down for a minute now. I know I said I was going to do it uh, and never did it last week. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> Timbo Tap is pretty much. <clears throat> Timbo Tap is pretty much what the importance of you. Uh, how you do your projects, and this is a valuable, uh, a valuable essence or a valuable key <clears throat> in your mixes. And um, when you're doing dynamic processing, uh, when you're doing um, trying to get a group of, uh, trying to like get a group and just move it all to a chorus or something like that, that plays a time tempo plays a a, a big key in that. Um, and if y'all hear all the mute stuff in the background. <clears throat> it's me I got a home studio of course but anyway um, so once you pull up your session the first thing that's gonna first thing that's gonna pop up depending on what you got or depending on what you previously have or previously ha have you previously got it set up uh, it's gonna pop up it's gonna pop up like this and what you want to click on is you want to click is um, the conductor track which is your metronome uh, you want to take that off that's the midi merge that's pretty much if you're doing recording and you want to record over your record, yeah, what you already recorded, freaks. Uh, and that's the mention on. That's how you turn it on, turn it off. So I'm I'm turning all these off because I don't need those at the moment. Um, and now when I do the tempo tap, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna press T continuously <clears throat> to the beat. So if the beat, so if the beat is like if it's doom, boom, but you know it's four bars in, in between that. So I'm just gonna hit it four times. Four bars, if y'all understand. So I'm click on that. Play the track. And I always start like two bars in. And that's how you do it. That's, and if you know how you know you got it right, as you can line this up, you see the bass drops at this line right here. This is a um, uh, it's a bar, so one, two, three, four. So that'll be four bars right there. And this will be another, so you can see it up here as well. Uh, eight. That's a bar, that's two, that's technically two bars. Mm. But yeah, those are bars a piece. Uh, <clears throat> and when you're doing it like that, you can also cut it out make some drops change change the eighth note cut it out you want to make a drop right there uh, some uh, comes right on comes right in on point and use it's also used for like if you want to extend it too so if you want to put another verse on there or put another uh, <coughs> chorus on there just find out where the chorus at See the chorus, so the chorus is known about four bars long anyway. You want to click that, make that four bars. Take that, put that on one bar. It's four bars, I can control, copy that. Put it over there, that'll be my chorus or something. Well, I can put it like right here or something, and that'll be my chorus. See? Pretty much simple. Taking a lot of time and effort <clears throat> and putting into your mix. So that's pretty much how you do a demo tap. Uh, I mix and master. I do. Uh, I'm an audio engineer. I'm a producer. Um, I use Waves iso Isotope plugins uh, and Waves. I mean, uh, not Waves, but uh, Pro Tools standard. Uh, Pro Tools. I mean, Pro Tools standard plugins as well. Uh, I'm gonna do mixing the master. I don't know if I repeated myself already. And uh, sooner or later, I'll be doing uh, live seminars on my mixing. I got a couple big projects coming up, so be on the lookout. I just gotta get a clear from them. <clears throat> but check me out, like, subscribe, share, uh, repost. If you got any questions, um, hit me up. Feel free to comment. You know, I'll uh, make a video of it or some or. Uh, 
or I can assist you in it if I can't make a video of it. Peace.